Hello, this is Gus from multidisciplinary scientific journal Knowledge Core, formerly known as Núcleo do Conhecimento. Today, I want to talk to you about something really important uh, in the world of science, which is the scientific journals, a uh, cornerstone, uh, cornerstone of the scientific enterprise that has shaped our understanding of the world around us. Scientific journals are not merely just um, knowledge repositories. They also channel uh, and nurture our new findings and to help us share ideas and extend the limits of the human knowledge. So I want you guys to join me uh, through this explanation of what is a scientific journal and what impact that scientific journals brings to modern day. So we're going to start off uh, talking about a little bit of the historical evolution. So in the 17th century, a time of great intellectual uh, fermentation, it was during this area that the Royal Society of London pioneered what we now recognize at the, as the world's first scientific journal, Philosophical Transactions. This changing and groundbreaking publication marked a turning point in the way we see scientific and we saw scientific information or how it was shared. Uh, no longer were researchers uh, confined to slow exchange of letters or limited scope of local meetings because uh, normally. Uh, scientific uh, knowledge was uh, delivered by letters so that can, they can get information about these uh, findings. So it, it took a long time to get from one place to another to deliver the letters. So uh, instead they had a platform that allowed ideas uh, to transcend transcend geographically uh, through barriers and reach a wider audience, which brings us to the impact of journals. The birth of scientific journal marked as a significant change in how a scientist or researchers communicated. It allowed ideas to be examined, improved, and extended by scholars worldwide. Uh, this set the foundation for a scientific method, uh, a methodical way of investigating, experimenting, and reviewing by peers that form the basis of modern science or what a science is today. So journals brought on promotion of scientific method global reach and exchange of ideas, and acceleration of knowledge accumulation. The peer review process also uh, takes part in being uh, what uh, nowadays what a scientific uh, journal is. Uh, the, rev the peer review process in scientific journals involves uh, experts in their areas or in their fields that evaluate research to ensure that the studies or the research is trustworthy and that they are published, which upholds integrity and progress. At RC Multicore or Nuclu, each article goes through peer review prior to the publication, assuring that there is um, assessment and credibility to the article and the current concern or concerns that are happening nowadays is of predatory journals, which we have to be careful. They publish in an inadequate way or deceptive research without rigorous review. It can happen that they have a method of review, but we have to be careful in which journals that you normally uh, publish.
uh, because it's happening a lot nowadays. And this underscores the need to choose reputable journals for sharing these, these scientific knowledge. Another thing that is in question also is AI, artificial intelligence, but this is going into discussions still. Contemporary significance, okay? So what is it bringing to today's world, the scientific journal? Okay, in today's world, the journals uh, are having a very big influence. They stand as um, pillars of wisdom and time, which stays marked by overflow of information. These journals offer researchers a stage to present their discoveries, hypotheses, and breakthroughs to a global audience. Um, this makes the process fostering teamwork, which ignites uh, fresh concepts, and it also propels the progress that we have in understanding all the knowledge we receive. And when talking about influence in scientific journal, they are often assessed using a metric called the impact factor. Uh, this impact factor, uh, this metric, uh, gouges the frequency in which the articles are cited. Although the impact factor has its merits, it has also some ignited uh, discussions concerning its potentials and uh, potential biases and limitations. Some contend that it might unintentionally guide um, researchers towards specific types of research that are more likely to receive citations and this inadvertently hinders the exploration of uh, fresh and uh, innovative or inventive ideas. To provide an analogy to this scenario, consider a scenario of a highly viewed video. In the in context of a scientific journal, this is an example of an impact factor. Okay, It functions as uh, a popularity rating for journals. However, there is a risk that scientists might prioritize topics that attract numerous citations, potentially overshadowing their pursuits of a novel or and a imaginative in doers. And um, also, uh, digital revolution has brought about a new era for scientific journals, talking about online publishing transformation effect, which has changed how a research is shared. We have a rapid, a rapid dissemination of research, making it easier and faster and more accessible. Uh, open access journals also, especially, have become important, making scientific knowledge available for everyone fairly, uh, so makes it easier for dissemination of knowledge or research or any information that we provide. In conclusion, um, the scientific journals, let's, uh, let's uh, take a little bit of time to acknowledge the significance of, of the impact that scientific journals bring to human advancement or development. They're not just carriers or facts. They're also the essence that we have to scientific exploration, starting in the 1700s and continuing today to, uh, to today's digital area. They've changed, grown, and endured through time. While we face current scientific challenges still, uh, we can still honor and be prideful of all the journal's legacy and teamwork and creativity and unwavering dedication to uncovering truths and bringing us new technologies 
and new advancements. Uh, that's it for today's video. And I want to thank you for your attention and always thank you for your support. Don't forget to, if you liked uh, the information, don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. And thank you very much.